Yes, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to GEA Fan TV. This is the channel that keeps you up to date with everything that is happening in both football and hurling. And we are here today, guys, to talk about Donegal's victory over Cavan. They've just beaten Cavan by five points in the Ulster final. They make it back-to-back -back Ulster championships in Ulster, of course, and a huge achievement for Donegal. Certainly at the moment, they are looking like the closest challengers to Dublin at the moment. You certainly cannot deny that. And um, when you look at the way they have played so far in Ulster, and of course, when you look back at their league campaign as well, winning the, the Division 2 title. And um, of course, guys, first of all, if you are new around here, do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Do let me know down in the comments below what you guys think will happen, um, you know, going into the Super 8s in particular. We obviously now have our, you know, four sides, four provincial champions going in there, Roscommon, Kerry, Dublin and Donegal. Um, and of course it will be Donegal and Kerry in one group, Roscommon um, and uh, uh, Roscommon and Dublin in another. Um, I will do a Super 8 Championship preview as well, so do uh, keep out uh, on a lookout for that on this channel. But of course guys, in terms of this game, in terms of how it unfolded, um, I think the game was very much won in the opening 20 to 25 minutes for Donegal. I think the occasion got to Cavan very much. They're you know, standout players who were great throughout the game weren't quite as good in those opening 20 to 25 minutes. The likes of Gerard McKernan, who hit uh, six points for Cavan in this game, was very, very good. But certainly in those opening stages, Cavan just couldn't really get to grips with Donegal. And I feel like the physicality of Donegal was very much that what made the difference in those early stages. You could see that Donegal, this side now, is very experienced. You've still got All-Ireland winners in that team. You've got players who won the Ulster Championship last year. So they are a very good team, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Michael Murphy, of course, constructing the midfield, the way he dominated the ball from time to time, I thought was very good. And certainly Donegal have uh, a lot of talent and a lot of quality in that side, and certainly you would expect them very much to be contenders going on into the All-Ireland Series to really challenge Dublin. Um, but certainly in the first half, they, they kept Cavan out very well. Defensively, again, just like what they were like against Tyrone. They've done really well in keeping Cavan at bay. Of course, they hit points on their own terms as well. Um, some fantastic points by Paddy McBrearty. Again, of course, you know, he's been outstanding again for uh, this Donegal side. You know, he was a fantastic player in the championship last year. He um, probably only started coming to life in their game against Tyrone. But again... In this game, he was very good as well. Um, and, and, you know, when Donegal start building up a lead against you, it's very hard to sort of come back against them. Anytime Cavan start building some momentum, the likes of Derek McVitie would, would hit a few points over. Uh, Conor Moyna would, would get, in, get in on the action as well. But certainly, um, Donegal were very good at, you know, restricting Cavan in, in, in many aspects. And, you know, even when it came to the second half, when Cavan went ahead and got their goal... Um, you know, Donegal were, were very good at just bouncing back. They didn't let the emotions get to them. They didn't let Cavan building any momentum. Um, and, of course, Jamie Brennan went ahead and got himself a goal uh, for Donegal. I think he hit 1-4 in this game. So, a really impressive performance again by Jamie Brennan. He's probably been one of the standout players for Donegal in this year's Ulster Championship um, and they have a you know an array of talent as Tony side. You know you got Ryan McHugh, brilliant in possession in the game, very good player. Um, and, you know and as I said before, Michael Murphy as well, really outstanding player of course for uh, for for this uh, Tony side. And and Cavan, you know they they were restricted in many ways and and, and they struggled in some aspects. Um, of course, Connor Madden done well for for Cavan to to start. You know, hitting some points back, but ultimately Donegal were just by far the outstanding team, and they very much dominated the game, and um, you know, were deserving winners in my opinion. Um, of course, guys, do let me know what you thought of the game down in the comments below. What do you guys think will happen going forward? Um, what does this mean for Cavan? Do you still think they can go ahead and make the Super Eights? Um, you know, a lot depends on the um, draw of the qualifiers and how things pan out. Um, but certainly Cavan have got a, still got a huge chance in my opinion they showed a lot of quality when they beat Monaghan when they came back against Armagh they've, they do definitely have serious footballers and this definitely is the best Cavan side 
we have seen in quite a while. Um, you know, even towards the end, they never gave up, did they? They got another goal, you know, right at the death. It made literally nothing, if anything, it just made the score uh, difference a bit more respectable. But certainly, Cavan have a lot of quality, and you would expect them to be a you know a tough competitor for anyone who gets them in that qualifier going into the Super 8. So, um, yeah, guys, do let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the game. Donegal go marching on. I'll be very curious to see how they do now in the Super 8s and who else gets in the group with them. But certainly the way I'm looking at things, it looks very tailor-made for a Donegal-Dublin All-Ireland Final at the end of August. But do let me know, guys, what you think down in the comments below. Do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you all next time.